and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about me painting on canvases, all different kinds of canvases. In the past, you've seen me paint on some of the best. There's Ampersand. We all know how wonderful this company is. Their products are beautiful too. And then for those of you who are trying to save a little bit of money, there's always Joe's Prime really good cradle panels. I love these panels a lot too. But when I go to paint on a canvas and I want it to be my best, the best of the best of the best, hopefully it gets into a museum, let me show you the product I love to paint on. Masterpiece, masterpiece canvases. You know them as the top, top quality. They build really strong, fantastic canvases. And also the panels, they have the panels, they have the entire product line for all of those of you who insist on the very, very best. They refer to this as state of the art, robust building. And I mean building up to 75 different sizes and 11 different surfaces. Look at this, look at this, how solid this is. And this is the small one. Can you imagine a 12 foot by 12 foot canvas with this kind of structure on the back? It'll always stay square for you. Fantastic, solid wood, heavy too. It takes a beating, especially my kind of painting. But today I'm going to paint on a panel and show you what I'm gonna do with the wet panel afterwards. Let's take a look. Now you know I'm getting ready for Art of the Carolinas in November in Raleigh, Jerry's Artorama, so I better do some of the things that I'm gonna be teaching, like landscape painting, so I'm practicing today. I'm gonna to be practicing on these museum quality archival panels from Masterpiece. These, they call these the Hardcore Pro Panels. I like that, Hardcore Pro Panels. By golly, that's what I am. <laughs> Here we go. They're nice and rigid. They don't warp. They're beautiful on both sides. Here we go. Now these will be my elusive landscapes. So I always start off in elusive. Oh man, that surface is beautiful. They already have the surface primed for me. And that's the bottom. Now I'm gonna do the top part. So you can see it. There's my landscape. Beautiful, huh? There we go. There we go. There's my color wheel. Mostly green. Mostly green, there we go. Put some focal point colors. Let's see, the focal point color would be a pinkish reddish color. Let's do that. Oof. Can't miss it. Always start off loose. This is where I believe on, under every great painting is a great abstract painting. Make sure you have fun at the very beginning, not at the very end. So I'm working right now on contrast. Contrast. Darker colors up front. Light colors recede. There we go. Now, this isn't quite finished yet, but I want to show you, in case I had to go back to the studio and it's still wet, how do you transfer it back to the studio with a wet canvas, whether it's acrylic or oil painting? You know how long that takes to dry. So what do I use to, to carry it back to the studio? Another wonderful product from Masterpiece. Let me show you. The Masterpiece Panel Porter. How cool of a solution is this to a big problem? How do you transfer the wet canvases back to the studio? It takes two sides. It holds two of them, rather. Here's the one I just got finished doing. I slid it right down into this little framework. I have a little cap here, it goes on the top, hand screws on the top, perfect. As I said, it handles up to two wet canvases. Pretty nifty little thing. There's all kinds of gimmicks out there. This one works really cleanly, done well. Good craftsmanship, masterpiece. Panel porters. That was fun, huh?
So this painting, of course, I did as a horizontal composition using my color wheel. Pretty simple, sky, bottom, lots of scraping and scratching. Over here, you see some black and white ones that I'm beginning to work on. These are more compositions in a landscape that I like to show and teach, which I'll be doing at Art of the Carolinas, as you've been hearing me talk about it. We're gonna be doing abstract landscapes, simple landscapes, the drip trees. Oh, I love doing those drip trees, right? I'm still working on them, They're not done yet, but all based on my color wheel. At the Art of the Carolinas, this one and so many other workshops we'll be doing. I can't all wait to see you there. Art of the Carolinas in Raleigh. See you at Jerry's Artorama. Hey, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm dreaming about my next workshop in Puerto Vallarta in Mexico, having this coffee early in the morning, sitting on my veranda, looking at the ocean. It's one of my favorite places to go. It's Casa de la Artiste, and, you, and you've heard me talk about this. This is the house that we go to, and we stay there, we sleep there, we eat there, we paint there, and just looking over the ocean, it's fantastic. Go to my website, so you can see all the details, but remember, it's in January. January, so hurry up and sign up. I'll see you there.